That's Thank really you. bad. Yeah. That's bad. Haven't been worked on in 30 years. Oh. Bracing and twisting while he's on the inside. We gotta shore up this this bad boy. Cause the gate has not been it's not been I can't take a picture. It's not been latching very well. And that's not safe. So got good help. And an old pencil. <laughs> Cause you never know what you're gonna find around here. Also the stuff right here. The, what's it say? Yeah, cool. The oil that creeps. Oh. I don't really know what that means. It means it's like penetrating the oil so it creeps into all the crevices. I guess. Thank you for explaining that. He says it's like because it creeps into the crevices. That makes complete sense. I never would have figured that out. I'm so glad my children are smarter than me. And also the smell of this stuff. Do y'all have like weird smells that you just love? Um, I'm kind of loving the smell of this probably get high off of it not planning on it but I'm just saying it does smell good <laughs> Bonnie is That's rat. rat hunting mm, she might have found one what you got Bonnie she got something right, what exactly are we doing fixing the gate where it gets the latches. fix it yeah okay fixing the gate latches so he's gonna pull them out a little bit to make sure. Is that is that not all the way up over there? It's an inch and sixteen. Oh, this one's this one's coming. It's the most thick one there. Hmm, that was an easy one. <laughs> ain't got no right. Oh my gosh, everything's a different size. Bottom is in. As far as it'll go now, I need to go. Yeah. Up. Well. You're loosening it in the mold. Yeah. But I won't be leaving a lot. I don't need to leave much. I need this boat to come all the way as far as this will go this way. <laughs> What'd you just say? I said that boy done some engineering when he fixed this. How long ago was that? 30 years ago, 40 years, 35 years ago. And who was that boy? The one you look at. Me. <laughs> well, I guess if it's lasted this long, that says something. And it's still here. We finally got some help <laughs> from the socket. It's a ratchet. Ratchet, I mean. Ratchet? I thought it was a socket. Ratchet with the socket on it. Ratchet socket, with the socket. Ratchet. Okay. Those words all fail me. Wesley's doing good. Also, I just learned that that right there, that's an inch. I didn't know that. <sighs> It's good, it, it's good as new? Almost. Almost. I'm ready. Go for it. It's like price is right. Is it going to make it? Oh, it didn't make it. Almost. I mean, it makes me think of the wheel on the price is right. There we go. You win a million dollars. Except, not really. Right now we're going to fix this gate that's been broken. The cows, the calves keep putting their heads through there. So, we're going to fix that. Just realized that the, show me that, screws aren't long enough to get into the, we're going to try to get into the metal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So and for the fourth time, he's going back to the house to get something. Half an hour. See, it's been wet. Screws, crowbar, what else? Sockets. Sockets. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, we have a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting on daddy to get back. It's a little warm in it. Actually, it's not so bad. I mean, even though he's sweating buckets, the weather is really nice today. It's overcast. I thought it was supposed to be really hot, but it's not. So, we're cool. Ah. Sitting on a water, waiting on a farmer. Again. Hit the metal. I think you have contact. All right. All's well that ends well. It might not have been the most fun, but it's done. No little calf is getting its head through there. Not anytime soon, anyway. Boots, right? It's a little sticky in here. Hey, Bonnie. Have you had fun? You sure have been a lot of help. Yeah. <laughs> I am a happy dog, a happy dog, a happy dog. I am a happy dog. Sitting in this truck. Would you like a ride? No? Do you know the song Homeward Bound? Homeward Bound. Yes, I was. Homeward Bound. That's all I know. You don't know it? You gotta learn that. Who sang that? Lawrence. Well, Miss Gail is trying to get fixed. We have to grind a load of feed tonight. Have to. We're out. He found the problem. The chain was loose, stripping the gear. So at least he knows what the problem is and hopefully it's gonna be fixed. It has been another kind of whew, crazy hair um, day, like never ending seeming kind of day. 7.30. I hear you, Bonnie. <laughs> um, I totally got takeout, so we just scarfed down supper. My son is helping my husband grind corn and I'm going to go relieve him. My boy's been working hard while my girl is swinging. So anyway, we're going to go finish this day if it takes three more hours. Oh well, at least the weather's nice. 82. The humidity isn't too bad. It's been a nice day. We've been really lucky lately. It hasn't been so summerish. I'll be eating those words probably tomorrow. So much for that clean windshield. It's a pretty evening though. The girls are eating. Oh, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> Seriously, we're just tired. So, well, that'll, that'll do for now. That ought to get us through. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say four days. That would be awesome. I guess we'll see. Are you ready to go home, Bonnie? Me too. Let's do that. I bought the kids something else. A little more than $8.99 or $7.99 from Aldi. But this was from Target. And I think it's going to be fun for them this summer. It was a lot cheaper than an actual pool. So let's see. Oh, wow. Big splash pad. It's like a big water mattress. Oh my goodness. Somebody's slightly excited. Oh, it's got good sprinkler. That is super cool. Oh. Hey, y'all. Okay. It's dessert time again. And this time, I'm going to make fresh. Wait for it. blackberry cobbler yes this is the most easiest recipe I'm sure it's one that a lot of y'all use or have used or have had but it's the only way I do cobbler and these blackberries were picked on our farm not by me which is even better we had a friend who came to the farm and picked blackberries and he gave me this huge bag so there's really nothing better than a fresh blackberry cobbler, and that's what we are gonna do right now. Also, just to note, this these are wild blackberries. We just have blackberry bushes growing all over the farm. I'm assuming somebody planted them at some time. Hey, honey! Were the blackberry bushes on the farm like planted by people? They just they just grew up in the wild. Okay. Sorry, I needed to make sure I understood that. They just grow in the wild. So anyway, that's what they are. They're wild blackberries and they're yummy. And they are just like a quintessential part of summer. Okay, I digress. I got a wild hair here. Usually I do a stick of butter, melted, and then I mix up a cup of self-rising flour and a cup of milk. But today, I'm gonna try buttermilk because buttermilk. Yeah, we're gonna see how that works. I'm gonna let you know. And my family will be the guinea pig, so if it's not great, I'll go back to milk. But I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty great. And then a cup of berries. You can also do this with peaches. You can do it with canned peaches. You could do it with blueberries. You could do it with whatever you wanna make a cobbler out of. So. First, we're gonna melt the butter, and then we're gonna mix. Oh, I just made tea. <laughs> the top of my stove is hot. <laughs> All right, then you go. And it's warming up to 350. That will eventually say 350. See how that works? Okay. Um, this is called semi-measuring, obviously. It's not exact. It's just not an exact science. It's more like an art. Yeah. So a cup, give or take, of flour, self-rising flour. We're gonna try a cup of buttermilk. I needed a bigger bowl, but alas, I broke it and I need to get another one. And then we're just gonna mix that. I almost forgot the most important part. The sugar. Jeez. Where's your brain, Marty? All right, that's a cup. So we got a cup of sugar, a cup of buttermilk, and a cup of flour. Mm, I gotta do more mixing. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. And we have melted butter. Yep. Um, I'm not gonna be able to hold this and spoon it. Well, actually, hmm. Yeah, not so much. Hold on a second. Yes, I can. I'm gonna ladle that bad boy. I'm all about improvising, y'all. Actually, it pours pretty good. 
So we're just putting the flour mixture, flour, sugar, buttermilk mixture right on top of the butter. And since it's actually pouring, since I put the sugar in there, it made it a little bit easier. All right, I'm gonna have to get this out. I have to put the phone down. Hold on. Put it in there. And then I'm gonna put the berries on top. And that is about um, a cup and a half or so of berries. Mm, you know what? I might put a few more for good measure. Kinda like butter. Can't have too much. I mean, really, right? All right, okay, looks good so far. Now we're gonna cook it until it's done. I don't know how long that'll be, <laughs> but I'll let you know. That's not looking bad, y'all, not looking bad at all. I decided to do it in the cast iron skillet because I have all ideas that there's not gonna be a whole lot left and whatever's left, I'll put in something to go in the refrigerator. Okay, it has been in there, I wanna say about 32 minutes or so. Um, hello, beautiful. Yes, if this thing tastes as good as it looks, we are in luck, y'all. Hold tight. This is me videoing a cobbler that's talking, y'all. Do you hear it? Do you see it? That's got to be good. We got to find out. All right, y'all. I know this is hot, and I know I'm risking. I'm risking another burnt lip here. There's no way that I cannot just eat this thing right out of here. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, here it goes. Do I dare try this on camera? <laughs> okay, it's so hot. <laughs> That's good, y'all. It really is. I think buttermilk is a hit. It's a win. Cheers. Yay. Okay. Now, I'm gonna make one. And come back and tell me how good it is. <laughs> and now, friends, we are off to work cows. And I'm fueled up with cobbler and ice cream, so. Amazing. Okay, girls. Baby, say goodbye. Say goodbye to your mamas. All right. This is what we call our Moss Farm because we bought it from a man named Moss. <laughs> and um, obviously, it's not the best working facility, but. It works. So we just ran half of the mamas through. We're gonna run the other half, put the babies on the trailer, and get them over to our other corral where we can weigh them. And and then they will get fed for the next week. And same guy that picked up our other calves will be back next week to get them. I'm not always the best direction giver. I usually get yelled at, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> My hand signals and Higgs hand signals don't jive very well. See, this is what we do. I was wrong. I, I, I have a hard time explaining what he needs me to explain. My husband and son went to take their first load of calves to the corral, to the other, the other farm. So we're just hanging around, literally, right? <laughs> it just got warm today, y'all. Summer's back. If you're English in the kitchen and you're English in the um, living room, are you in the um, what are you in the bathroom? I'm scared to ask. European. <laughs> that's Thank really you. bad. Yeah, that's bad. Heading back to the barn. Close this gate. It's fine.
pretty excited to get to try the new changes. New, not really. Yeah, kind of new. That so good. Alrighty. In like Flynn. That is some cams. Some good looking cams. They give them some feed with about six buckets. That's a wrap. You did good, sissy. Thank you for your help. You're getting good at this cattle work and stuff. You like it? <laughs> All is well, it ends well again. And the corral worked good. Little adjustments we made, so. Oh, well, Bonnie, what do you got? What do you have? That's really gross. Can you just not do that? Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. I'm not gonna let you give me kisses tonight. <laughs> you don't even care. Give those calves that we just worked some feed. And these girls got some corn <laughs> the other night when we were grinding corn. And I think they're saying they want some more. You got grass. Done spoiled you now, hadn't we? <laughs> And the survey says, good. good, good. Pretty good end to a pretty good day, huh? Well, I don't know about the day. But... The day was good. The cows worked, nobody got hurt. It's only nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, man, 11.30 like my side, no? Yeah. <laughs> so, we just finished eating out on the porch because it's our favorite place to eat when the weather's right. And the kids and my husband are still out there and the dog. And they are swinging and playing and talking. And I was just thinking how like perfect it is. How I love these moments and being able to share with each other and just how this farm life we're busy all the time there's something going on for days to today like where we get to spend time together working together are the best and we come in and it's late and we're tired and we might be a little cranky <laughs> but all in all, these are the best days. These are the best days. These are the days. I know these are the days I'm going to miss the most. And I wouldn't trade them for nothing. Nothing. Life is short. We need to take time to appreciate what's right in front of us and to slow down long enough to appreciate it. And I just think how grateful I am that our busy is here together. For the most part, it's here together. Now it's time to wrangle some kids in for bed. Here they come. <laughs>